Hi, in this video I am trying to show you how to install our billing software. Before starting the billing software installations, we have to install two software that's called uh, Crystal Report and uh, SQL Server. This computer is Windows 10 64 bit. So we have to install Crystal Report 64 bit and as well as we have also want to install 32 bit. Uh, so I'll show you how to start the installation. I'll show you step by step instruction for you. Then after finally we'll install our billing software. So let's start. See here I'm showing you how to install Crystal Report 32 bit. So select the folder and open it and start the installations as as you can see in the video. I just selected install and then click next then select a accept button and click on the next again next again you can click on the next button yeah so this process will take around 5 to 10 minutes it's uh, totally depends on your computer speed and configurations so you just wait for till finish and after that click on the finish button that's it and now we just start for this uh, 64 bit installations i'm just uh, i just clicked on that file now you will be get a window which you can click on next button then select the agreement uh, accept button then click on next yeah it will it will start the installation process by automatically so let's wait for around again 5 to 10 minutes till finish and just finally you can just click on finish button so see we already finished our crystal report installations the crystal report which is used mainly used for report generations that you can see the uh, various ledgers and all these kind of reports so here i just already started the sql server installations this is just for start this is storing this informations in the software for for, for that uh, it's use sql server so before so i'll so it's showing you how to install the software see here you can see one error um, that we did not install this pc is not yet updated up to date so that is the reason that error it came before so i clicked on the downloading options uh, download and download the features that were there asking for this uh, 3.5 net dot net framework is not yet installed in this pc so if your pc is up to date and uh, updated uh, versions uh, then it, that that won't be asked so yeah now, now it automatically download and installed so again i have to start the installation for the sql server sql servers installations so i just click on that file it's loading it may take little more time than usual because uh, it depends on our computer so just wait for little time and after that you can see a window in this uh, server installation server window you have to select the first one new installation once you click the new installation again it will take little time for getting the next window so please be patient and just wait for the next options to come I just clicked it two times so that so that is the reason it's showing you two window it's not required actually you can just close it once uh, one which is not required yeah now you have to select the accept button select the accept accept license agreement and just click on the next This is SQL Server 2008 R2 version that is required in the backend uh, for smooth running of our software and in this window you can just select the next button you don't want to select anything please make sure that the, all the options which is over here 
uh, it is check-in so usually it will be in check-in option only you don't want to do anything over here and you just need to click on the next button in this window I'm just clicking here yeah next so it will load the next window just wait here also you don't want to do an anything else so you can just go ahead to the next next step if already the xql server is installed in your computer you can see it will be there in the installed instance name and all this in that table see here in this options you should you should be very careful in that the sql server browser options it is by default it is disabled you must make it automatic then you just click on the next button so what happened once after finishing this process you can just open the software billing software and you will be getting an options to search the servers once you click over there it will show you to find the servers and you can automatically connect it so in this window you can just select again next nothing to do no uh, there is no other options not you don't want to change any other settings yes, you have to follow the same procedure how the video how this video i'm showing you then there will not be any kind of issues see while installations uh, sometime you may get some kind of errors so it may be totally depends on your pc con uh, status like uh, if your pc is not yet updated last one year and all usually those can uh, some kind of error it will may happen so you basically it requires dotnet framework 3.5 and dotnet framework 4 and all it is compulsory for these installations so if your pc is not yet updated then it may it will show you some errors so make sure that to complete your pc your make sure that your pc is up to date so here you can see the sql server uh, 2008 artwork installation is completed successfully so you can just click on the close button so we have successfully completed our crystal report installations and sql servers installations so now you can open the software folder so here it is in zip format you can just extract it if it is in zip format so whatever any application whether it is for our hotels or the restaurants applications or our usual billing softwares of inventory stock inventory applications and the pharmacy software all the software the procedure is same that you have to install the soft uh, crystal report software first and then you have to install sql express sql servers in installations then after you can just extract and here here you can see if so after installations you have to sell you have to find the application file dot exe file for every app so once you just click on that file it will ask you one form and that form you have to fill up with your details and file there you can see some registration key that key you can just whatsapp us we'll give you that key without uh, our technical team will give you the key for the registrations see finally after filling that form you will be getting a form like this sql server settings in this you have to see, click on the search server so it by def it's automatically detect the servers and connected so for the demo account you can just clear click on the create demo db and proceed if it's a brand new account so then you can just click on blank so it's a uh, database is connected and created a de demo account now you can just open the software it again then here it's you can just see one options like hardware ready you have to forward this hardware ready to whatsapp in the text format itself you can forward it to us so we'll provide you the activation key so in this for window you can just by default you can we have set this user id and password as one admin and password is one two three four five so that's it uh, the installation is over you can just log into the software and after that further that you can just check all the options which is available in various softwares 